It has been an extremely emotional day for family and friends of a teen who was killed in a shooting in Pembroke Pines. A viewing for the victim was held today, but one family member was not there. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live to explain. Roy. Yeah, and dozens of people arrived here today to pay their respects to this 15-year-old, a talented soccer player who unfortunately had his life cut short when a witness says his stepmother was recklessly playing with a gun. The one relative not in attendance today, that stepmother. Family, friends, and teammates gathered at the Boyd Bancieta Funeral Home in Pembroke Pines for the viewing of 15-year-old Achilles Lopez. He's really dedicated. He was a really good kid. We watched as loved ones console one another and as teammates arrived wearing their jerseys in honor of the young, talented soccer player whose life was taken far too soon. We always had a dream of like going far in soccer. Um, he always wanted to play. When he went in, he went in with everything. Lopez's family grieving, his sister taking to social media with these pictures of her younger brother, writing, words can't explain how much I miss you, and in this picture writing, I love you. Investigators said Lopez's stepmother was recklessly handling a gun inside their home Saturday night, his best friend there, as that fatal shot was fired. Carlos Santos told us how his best friend's stepmother began pointing the gun at a dog and then at Achilles before that shot was fired, the bullet hitting Achilles in the chest. As officers arrived, they would see that young boy lying on the floor, but despite their life-saving efforts, he would not survive. And I have touched base with Pembroke Pines police again today. They say at some point this stepmother will face a charge of manslaughter due to negligence that still has yet to officially happen. For now in Pembroke Pines, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.